Hello, Zebra Herd. In today's episode of Detective Pikachu Returns, we have made our way to the professor, but to get him out, we might need some help from some unexpected friends. Let's get started. So now that we've made it past our Manitan, we still have another hallway to explore. Let's keep moving. Is there anything really to do around here? I think we're on the other side of the ruins. And what do you know? More ice. Um, this way looks like a dead end. Where could the professor have gone? I'm pretty sure we haven't passed him. Wait, huh? What was that? What is it, Pikachu? Did you feel a breeze just now? No, I didn't feel anything. Are you sure you aren't imagining things? No, it was definitely real. I felt it, it felt a ruffle my fur. There must be a gap somewhere. Come on, Tim, let's search for it. Find the gap in the wall. Okay, so let's look around a little bit and see what we can find right over here. Hey, Tim, we found it. There's a gap in the wall here. Let me get a closer look. Whoa, definitely a room on the other side. Excuse me. What do we do now? There's no way to get through a hole this small. What are you talking about? It's no problem at all. Huh? Just who do you think I am? Situations like this are where the great detective Pikachu truly shines. Are you sure you'll be okay? It looks pretty tough to crawl through. Like I always say, you gotta use those legs while investigating. Let me show you how it's done. If you insist. Well, I'll see you later. Oh, I hope he fits. Oh no. Just be careful, all right? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I should have seen this coming. Don't just stand there. Help me out of here. Wait, just so we're clear, I do not want you to kick me. You want me to kick you? Uh-oh. Okay! Oh, no! Oh. Pikachu, the rest is up to you. Poor Pikachu. Good grief. What? Whoa! Uh, I can't believe I ended up getting trapped in a place like this. Trevor Gordon, mineral archaeologist. We found him. Hey. Ah, so that's Gordon. I guess I should get a closer look. I've gotta at least tell him that we're here to rescue him. Hey! Hey! Hmm? Uh, don't worry, we're here to help. A Pikachu? Where'd you come from? Are you dancing? Unfortunately, what? he's not quite able to understand Pikachu. Hmm. Are you hungry or something? No, I'm not hungry. I've come here to rescue you. I'm sorry, little fella. I'd really like to help you, but I don't have any food to share. I dropped almost all the food I had on me when I was running from Darmanitan. I mean, that's probably what saved me, but still. Huh? What's he talking about? I swear, that Darmanitan's whole attitude changed the moment it saw the food. It must have been hungry, just like you. So the manitan's only rampaging because it's hungry? But if it really was just hungry, it could have gone somewhere else to search for food. Why is it still sticking around here? It's already been two old days. The manitan's gotta be getting tired of this too. Got it, so there's no food down here, which is why Darmanitan is hungry. But Darmanitan wouldn't choose a place with no food to be its home. So what's it doing here? Hmm. The more important issue right now is how to save Gordon. I'd better go look for an exit somewhere. Oh, leaving already? Be careful, little fella. Darmanitan's really on a rampage out there. You just wait here, Gordon. I'll figure something out. All right then, so we can look for an exit or we can talk to uh right. Gordon some more. Oh, you're still here, little Pikachu? I already told you I don't have any food. I already told you that I'm here to help you. If only you could understand human speech. I could send you to get help. Ugh, oh, it's so frustrating not being able to communicate. Anyway, just you wait. I'll save you. You'll see. All right, so let's check out your bag here, too. Hmm. 
Here's Gordon's bag. It's a proper adventurer's bag. It looks really cool. Sorry, Pikachu, there's no food in there. Ah, uh, I wasn't asking for food. All right, so what else can we do around here then? Um, for right now, this room seems pretty open. There's this giant Ural though. And can we go back the way we came in? Probably not without a shove from Gordon. Hey. I can go back until I found a way to save Gordon. Okay, so what's going on with this thing right here? Hmm. Oh, here's another mural. I'm just guessing here, but this might be another clue to some kind of mechanism. This mural can't, can't, I can wait till later. There's other stuff to deal with now. So it looks like some kind of path we can walk to unlock something. We'll figure that out soon, but for right now, can I just, hmm. as far as I can tell, this is the only doorway that Gordon can fit through. But the debris has fallen in. So what do we do instead? Hmm. There are no gaps big enough for a person to fit through. I guess we need to figure out how to get all this rubble out of the way. There's no way Tim and I can clear it out on our own. Now, if we were as strong as Darmanitan, then we could probably, wait a minute. Didn't Gordon say Darmanitan was hungry? And Slowpoke gave me something earlier. I bet I can use this. I should get back to Tim right away. I just came up with a brilliant plan. So let's get back to Tim, who of course is still on the other side of the wall over here. Let's see what they have to say. <sighs> you, at least I managed to make it through by myself this time. I guess he must have figured out the trick to it. Anyway, how's the professor doing? Apparently he's been trapped in here for two old days. This is bad, we've gotta hurry and save him. The only way out is through that area that's blocked off by the rubble. Oh no. There's no way to get him out. Don't panic, Tim. I've got a great plan. What is it? We're gonna get Darmanitan to break through all that rubble for us. What do you mean? According to Gordon, that Darmanitan is really hungry. So I figured we could win it over by giving it some food. But the only food we have is a few leftover berries. Hey, aren't you forgetting about this? Slowpoke's tail? Yeah, it's really sweet. Just eating one makes it feel happy. So we'll feel you feed this to the, to, the, to the hungry Darmanitan. If we do that, we'll be friends in no time. I hope it's really that tasty. Or really that easy. <laughs> Don't worry so much, Tim. Now come on, let's go back to Darmanitan. Okay. So 10th Pikachu's brilliant plan. Will do, but is there anything else to do in this room before we make our way off? It really doesn't seem like it's a whole super speed sprint back over here. Oh, there he is. This'll be just perfect. Sure. Lord Darmanitan. Oh no, he's so big and scary. <laughs> Press the button at the right time, okay. I reacted well enough. Hey, Darmanitan. Oh no, a little too soon. Uh oh, oh no, watch out Pikachu, I'm sorry. Here, it's yours, Ida. Oh no, oh no, be careful! Uh-oh, oh no, it's gonna be a Pikachu! Pikachu! Mash the button, mash the button, we gotta save him! Come on, come on! There we go, we got it! Oh. You okay, buddy? I guess that was pretty like good. Worked at least. Yeah, all's well that ends well. <laughs> oh no. But Dermanitan seems a lot happier now. <laughs> Dermanitan seems really happy. See, my plan worked out great. Sheesh, you sure know how to worry people. Okay, Dermanitan. You understand now that we're not bad guys, right? Good, just wanted to be clear on that. More importantly, there are a bunch of things we're curious about. You mind if we ask you some questions? About you, Darmanitan. Hey. You're not originally from this area, are you? What brought you here? Huh? Some people dressed in white caught you and shut you in a small place? What people dressed in white? Darmanitan doesn't know exactly who they were, but he hated the small space he was trapped in, so he ran away with the others who were stuck in there. Hmm, a small place. It must have been some sort of facility. That's not good. 
Sounds like the people were doing experiments of some kind on the captured Pokemon. That's awful. You said there were others, Sharmanitan. Are your friends around here too? He says some friends escaped with him. And together, you all froze the ruins? Why did you freeze the ruins? Hmm. So you and your friends froze the ruins? Why would you do that? He says they can't go back to where they came from. So they were trying to make this place their new home and make it easier for them to live here. But didn't you realize that would cause problems for the Pokemon that already live around here? He says they didn't think it'd be a problem if they only froze the place a little bit. But apparently, it'd been so long since they'd been able to have fun like that, they got carried away. They really didn't mean any harm. Even so, we can't just leave things like this. You're right. Hey, can you do something about all this? If you do that, this place will be too hot for you to live in. Can't you live somewhere else? Ah, he says he doesn't want to go anywhere else because there are humans out there. Hmm, this is a real problem. Where did you come from? Hey. You said you were brought here against your will, but where did you live before? Mm-hmm, I see. He says he came here from somewhere cold and far away from here. I'm guessing his friends were captured and brought here along with him. Everywhere around here is too hot to live in, huh? Yeah, the climate here definitely isn't great for a nice Pokemon. It'd be great if we could help him, them get back to their original home. About the people dressed in white. Hmm. What can you tell us about the poke or the people who brought you here? The ones dressed in white? He doesn't know much. But he says they're all really bad people who were mean to him. It must have been a horrible experience. And apparently right when he arrived here, he saw someone suspicious. Wait, you trapped him in a room so he couldn't do anything bad? You don't think he's talking about Professor Gordon, do you? I'm certain he is. It fits with what Gordon said. Hey, Darmanitan, that wasn't a bad guy. Yeah, really, I can vouch for him. Does he believe you, Pikachu? I'm not sure. Seems like he's still not quite convinced. <laughs> Thanks for telling us all that, Darmanitan. Now let's get down to the problem at hand. That man you said you trapped in the room. You think you could help, uh, let, help us let him out? Please, Darmanitan, we really need your help. Come on, we gave you that slowpoke tail, remember? You're the only one who can rescue the professor. Oh good, I'm glad you trust us. But there's a condition? Your friends all got separated in the ruins and they haven't come back? And since you don't know where they are, you want us to help look for them, huh? Hmm, now that you mention it, I haven't seen any other ice Pokemon besides Darmanitan here. He says they're all just playing around in the ruins. He's worried about them and wants to check on them, but he doesn't know where they are. Yeah, these ruins are pretty big. Okay, okay, I heard you. If that's all you want from us, I'm sure we can help you out. Yep, you've got yourself a deal, Darmanitan. All right. Ready, Darmanitan? I'm counting on you. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> What is going on? Now we're talking. Okay, let's go. That's so cool. So I guess we're riding on the back of Darmanitan as Pikachu now. What a great view. A little cold though. Just let me know what you want smashed. I could take out a boulder or a block of ice with just one punch. You're pretty confident in your strength, aren't you? Okay then, let's see what you've got, Darmanitan. Ride action. Press the R button to destroy brittle blocks and ice with Dar Darmanitan's punches. First go to the room where the professor is trapped and destroy the rubble there. So yeah, I guess I could run around and punch through all of this ice. I don't think there's really like collectibles in this game, so I don't think I need to break every block of ice, of course. Just the ones that seem to be in my way. So if there's not anywhere special to go with this, I might just wanna walk our way through. Yeah, really seems like it. So let's, first things first, go rescue the professor, who of course was by that one thing. Oh, I can talk to you. I wanna go home, please help me. I definitely will help soon, but for right now. This is the stuff you want me to break, right? Yeah, can you do it? Oh yeah, this'll be easy. Then go for it, Darmanitan. Smash our rubble. All right, 
Boom! That worked pretty well. All right, now we can rescue Gordon. Thanks, Germanitan. I'd say you're welcome, but that'd be kind of weird, wouldn't it? Huh? When did the rubble go away? You just now notice that? Well, anyway, now we can rescue Gordon. Please don't forget what I asked you, Pikachu. Of course not, just wait a little bit. All right. Ooh. Hi, Gordon. Oh, Slowpoke, there you are. Slowpoke, Slowpoke. <laughs> Might take him a minute. Slowpoke. He's getting there. A little bit farther. All right, well, I'm glad they're reunited, eventually. Huh? Professor Gordon, are you okay? Oh, Rachel, and you are? My name's Tim, I'm also a student at Rhyme University. We heard you hadn't been back for two days, so we came in here to check on you. Oh, you must have heard from Chris. I'm sorry I worried you, but thanks to you, I'm safe. Although, I'll admit that I, I thought I was done for when that Darmanitan came into the room. Don't worry about Darmanitan. Pikachu's already befriended him. Oh, I see. So the Pikachu I saw before was your partner. Sorry I didn't realize that, Pikachu. No, it's fine. Professor, are you okay? Ha, <laughs> no need to worry about me. You say that like you haven't been trapped in this cold for, uh, this cold for two old days. I've been all over the world for my field work. What can I say? I'm a tough guy. You're telling me. Is it all right if we ask you a few questions? I wanna figure out exactly how this all happened. Uh, yes, of course. So I guess now we can talk to Professor Gordon. So I guess we'll get started with that first. Right. So where do you want me to start? What happened? Right. When I reached this floor, a Darmanitan was also here for some reason. The moment that Dar Darmanitan saw me, it suddenly started chasing after me. I tried to run out of the ruins, but before I knew it, the door had already closed behind me. With nowhere else to go, I ran into this room. Why did Darmanitan ch chase you? Why do you suppose Darmanitan chased after you? At first, I thought it wanted a, the food I had on me, but it's possible there's another reason. What do you mean? Well, it hasn't left this place in two days. If it was hungry before, it's gotta be starving by now. Looking back, I think Darmanitan might have been trying to prevent me from going deeper into the ruins. It seems really interested in something back there. Hmm, Darmanitan didn't mention anything about something deeper in the ruins. About the ruins. Excuse me. Why were you here in the ruins in the first place, Professor? An interesting discovery was made recently regarding the geological strata of this area. It seems a large number of meteorites once fell around these parts a long time ago. Meteorites, huh? Yes, and it occurred around the same time that these ruins were built. That's why I wanted to come here and do some field research. Is there some connection between the meteorites and the ruins? It's too soon for me to say. I was hoping to figure that out with this survey. I did learn a few things during my research, though. The people who built these ruins had a deep connection with Aegislash. Oh yeah, we did see a relief of Aegislash. Aegislash's shields defend against misfortune, and its sword is a symbol of slashing that misfortune away. I believe this represents the people hope for peaceful, protected lives. And of these ruins, those people held a very important ritual. Really? What kind of ritual? A ritual to strengthen the bonds between people and Pokemon. By working together and helping each other, people and Pokemon could overcome all sorts of trouble. So it's said that this ritual was meant to teach that way of thinking. That's a wonderful attitude. I agree. I believe the coexistence between Pokemon and humans is the overarching theme of these ruins. Our history has always been intertwined with that, with that of Pokemon. I think our modern society could benefit from thinking more like these people did. Right. Sorry, I know I tend to ramble. No, I appreciate it. Now I've got to get a better understanding of the situation. By the way, what made you all come all the way out here? Actually, there was something we wanted to ask you about, Professor. Oh, what would that be? A precious jewel was recently stolen in Rhyme City. We were wondering if you could tell us what exactly that jewel is. Sure, I'll help you if I can. Thank you, here's a photo of the jewel. Professor, can you tell us anything about what's in this photo? Hmm? Incredible. 
incredible. That's no ordinary jewel. It's a feeble crystal that some believe is actually a Pokemon. Whoa. A Pokemon? Interesting. Hmm. You're saying this jewel is actually a Pokemon? I am. In fact, according to one hypothesis, this crystal may have fallen from space just like a meteorite. Some say the crystal will assume its true shape if it's imbued with a special energy. I've never seen it in that state myself, though. It never even occurred to me that the Aurora Drop might be a Pokemon. I wonder if the thief knew that when they stole it. And if so, what did they want it for? Hmm, the questions just keep piling up. Is that all you wanted to ask me about, Tim? Yes, thank you so much for your help. Well then, Professor, we should get back to Chris. No, I'll let you tell Chris that I'm all right. I'm so close to unlocking the secrets of these ruins. Since I've already made it this far, I'd like to finish before I head back. You can't be serious. Are you sure you're all right? I told you, this is really nothing. Thanks to you, I can freely explore the ruins now. I don't want to waste another minute. Oh, come on. I already was passionate about this research, but this is ridiculous. Wow, he's really determined to stay. Oh, you really want to start searching for your friends, huh? Well, I suppose now's as good of time as ever. Tim, why don't you go, you and Rachel stay here for a bit and keep a good eye on Gordon? In the meantime, I'll go and keep my promise to, Dar to Darmanitan. Okay, we can just leave the professor here after all. Right, and it's settled. Okay, let's go, Darmanitan. So I guess we get the ride around on Darmanitan because you still look so cold up there. Okay, do you have any idea where your friends might be? They all said they were, they were going upstairs. So I think they're still there. What kind of Pokemon are, are these friends of yours? Van Van Vanillite, Mr. Mime, Bergmite, Smoochum. Vanillite, Mr. Mime, Bergmite, and Smoochum? We didn't see any Pokemon like that on our way here. You think they could have gone outside? I don't think so. They'd probably be scared of going outside because they could run into humans out there. So they must be hiding somewhere. Okay, let's go look for them upstairs. Yeah, thanks, Pikachu. So find Vanilla, Mr. Mime, Bergmite, and Smoochum on B1. Mm -hmm. I'll be keeping an eye on the professor to make sure he doesn't do anything reckless. Please come back as quickly as you can. Sure, just finding a few Pokemon should be a quick and easy errand for a great detective like me. I'll be finished in no time. All right, so what's going on over here then? We can catch up with Slowpoke. Thank you for rescuing Mr. Go. Yeah, about that. It was actually me who shut him in there. I didn't realize he was a friend. Oh, really? It's okay. Mr. Go is very forgiving. No need to feel bad about it. Really? Thank you both. See, it all worked out, Darmanitan. I'm gonna talk to you more. Thank you for rescuing Mr. Go. Hi, Rachel. I had heard that Darmanitan, ke ke Darmanitan keep food in the snowball on their heads, but I never thought I'd see a Pikachu in there. You look pretty cute. She says we're cute, Darmanitan. Cute? Gosh, I think I'm blushing. We can also chat with yes. you again. I can't believe I got to see Darmanitan and Pikachu looking so cute. Good thing I came along with Tim. Right. You certainly put me in a bit of a pickle, but I can't deny that you also helped me out of it. So I'd like to thank you, Darmanitan. Hey, Darmanitan, Gordon's thanking you. Huh, really? Even though I did something bad before? It's hard to know what they what to say when someone thanks you like that, isn't it? Not that you'd understand you anyway. Okay, we can still see more. Thank you, Darmanitan. What about the bag? Gordon's bag sure looks like a proper adventurer's bag. But it looks like there's no food in it. It's too bad. All right, so we're good. We can leave out of here. And it didn't seem like there was too much more to do. Yeah, not with that little guy. I guess I wasn't any of the Pokemon on the top, right? Yeah. And can we even make it across? <laughs> Pikachu, we can go back to our pond now? Oh yeah, sorry. Thanks for all your help. You're welcome. But how are they gonna get across? <gasps> oh wait, how do we get across now? It's okay, leave it to me. It's water, so if I do this. <laughs> 
Whoa, it freezes up no problem. There, now we can cross. All right, freezing water's not a problem for an ice Pokemon. Okay, see, so we run across and I guess we can see what's over on this side. Since I haven't explored this corner too much, it seems like there's even more to do. Maybe I should have called over here with Tim at some point. Uh, I'm really hungry. Could you guys help me get back to the sky? Huh? What do you mean? Can't you get back there yourself? I can't, my shell's too heavy. I was fleeing from a big scary Pokemon and fell down here. Thanks to that, I escaped, but now I can't get back home. There's almost nothing I can eat down here. I'm sure I could fly again if I could just get rid of my shell. I could break the tiny shell with one punch. Yeah, but just be extra careful not to hurt the core inside. Thanks, then I'll be able to get back home. So I guess I just punch you. Whoa, did that fix it? Thanks, you punched my shell to smithereens. Now I can get back to my home above the sky. I'm glad we could help. So we should do that with the other one too. Wow, it disappeared in an instant. Be careful there next time, Inior. And what's up with this one? This wall looks different from the others. Oh, that's a mural drawn by some humans. Uh, I, I got, I, it's got a message on it too. So I guess with this one, we need to walk a certain way, so once again we can get to a statue. Which, I don't see one, so that's a little odd. Maybe it's a mural depicting the answer for a totally different room. Anyways, if we head out of here and move to the right or the left, not too much more. So I wanna run over to that other mini and break their shell as well to see if we can help with that. And then we'll head upstairs because every Pokemon deserves a little bit of help, right? So we'll get over here and give you a good punch. Yay, I feel so much lighter now. Now I can rejoin my family. Thank you so much. And it's gone. Hope it makes it home safely. All right, so there's that done. Let's head back over wherever we're supposed to go to go back to B1. I think that's over here, right? Yep, here we go. So, Southern Ruins, B1. I think everyone's somewhere on this floor. They might be hiding in places that are hard to find. Got it, let's search carefully. Thanks, Pikachu. No problem, it's my turn to help you out now. Okay, so yeah, let's take a good look around B1. Hey, can I break any of these? I don't think so, but I did hear, of course, a, a Bronzor over there. That's not one of the ones we're looking for. I'm pretty sure that's Bronzor, or maybe Bronzong. One of the two. Oh, yeah, let's see if we can't do anything with this. Oh, here she is. Huh, I don't see anyone. I think she's just sleeping. Hey, Vanilla, wake up. Oh, there you are. Hmm. Is that you, Darmanitan? Vanillite, sleep soundly beneath the snow. So cute. Hey. Wow, there was a Vanillite inside all of that snow. Now that I think about it, I guess I heard that Vanillite usually sleeps in the snow. Oh, you have a Pikachu with you. Anyway, did you need something, Darmanitan? I hadn't seen you in a while, so we came to see how you were doing. Now that we've found you, do you mind answering a couple of questions? You wanna go to ask me something? About you, Vanilla. Hey. What were you doing here? I was having fun making it snow. It's been a long time since I've had such a wide open space to play in. So that's why you were there was so much snow here. Then I got tired from all that playing and went to sleep. You weren't in danger or anything? No, nothing like that. You're such a worry work, Darmanitan. About the other Pokemon. Hey. So the other Pokemon aren't with you? No, I was the only one playing in this room. I see. I guess the other Pokemon are in the, the other rooms then. All right, well, good meeting you. Uh, I don't see too much more to do here, but with Vanilla out of the way, we'll head out of this room, and I guess to the right, there's that big sheet of ice. I've been really curious about this whole time with the curious shadow behind it too. Um, oh, hey you. Huh? What's with this weird boulder? It definitely looks different from the others. Can I smash this one too? Yeah, it should be fine, just be careful. So I, I'll try it. Uh, but I don't think it's quite what we're looking for. It's Crossle. Carries its tough, durable home. Sorry. Gah! Huh? Did that boulder just talk? That's not a boulder, that's a Crossle. It's a Pokemon that lives in the boulder it carries on its back. Goodness gracious. What do you think you're doing? You could have smashed my favorite boulder here. What would I have done then? 
We're sorry. He really didn't mean any harm. Please forgive him. Well, I never. Phew. Guess you'd better check next time you, you punch a boulder. I didn't know there were Pokemon that carry boulders on their backs. I mean, some Pokemon are just boulders. Look at, you know, like Graveler. Can I talk to you anymore? If you break my beautiful boulder, I'm going to be very, very upset. Yeah, we'll be more careful from now on. Can we punch again? No, he can't, okay. So what's going on with this ice? We can just break it open and, hey, look who it is, it's Mr. Mime. So I guess we'll go chat with you. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? My mime. Mr. Mime Galarian form. Tappity tap tapping away. Hold on, Manitan, our hero. We've been stuck here for ages. Thank you so much for saving us. Allow me to express my gratitude with a tap dance. Oh, that's right. Nice type, Mr. Mime, are supposed to be good at tap dancing. You don't need to dance, I'm just glad you're safe. So the shadow was beyond the ice was actually Mr. Mime. Hmm? I don't believe this Pikachu and I have been introduced. That's because your mountain and I have only just become friends. But that's a story for another time. Can I ask you some questions? What do you want to know? About you, Mr. Mime. Hey! What were you doing doing here? That Bergamite over there was trying to cool this room down. So I offered to help make a big wall of ice together. We really made an effort. But apparently there is such a thing as too much effort. It never occurred to me that we wouldn't be able to get out. So you two made this ice, huh? What a pair of troublemakers. About the other Pokemon. Hey. Are you two the only ones in this room? Yes, it's just me and Bergmite here. Are you sure about that? All right, well, we're able to find Mr. Mime, but over here, Ugh. Boom, let's free this guy. You okay? Huh? Where am I? What was I doing? Oh good, looks like it's okay. Seems a bit groggy though. What should we do? Let's see what it has to say first. We'll get a better idea of how it's doing. First. Hey Ursaring, your friend is looking for you. What? Oh right, I suppose I haven't been back for a while. You should get back to your friend so it can stop worrying. Right, I'll do that. All right, see ya, Ursaring. We'll catch up with them soon enough. But there's more things to punch through in this room. Should we go check with that Ursaring outside the ruins too? Uh, not now. That's okay, maybe I'll check back later. Cause there's other places I need to explore out there and then we can break with our Manitan, so I figure I'll get to that as soon as possible, but for now, We'll just break this stuff open to make extra sure there's not anything more to find. And of course, talk to the Bergmite, right over here. Bergmite, ice cold shyness. So cute. Oh, if it isn't Dermanitan, and who might you be? I'm the great detective Pikachu, Dermanitan's new friend. Everyone was taking so long to come back that I got worried, so I came looking for you. Pikachu's been helping me search. Ah, sorry to have put you through all that trouble. You see, we weren't able to leave this room. When the world happened, can you tell me? What would you like to know? About you, Bergmite. Why were you all walled in here? I wasn't trying to make this place more comfortable. I was trying to make this place more comfortable to live in. So, Mr. Mime and I worked together and to make a wall of ice. Mr. Mime was practically putting on a show. I tried to match that energy, but we both got carried away and ended up making too much ice. And that's how you got stuck. I'm glad you're both okay. About the other Pokemon. Hey. Are you two the only ones in this room? Yeah, just me and Mr. Mine. All right, well, good to find you. Hey. We're both sort of wrong about being the only two Pokemon. There was also the Earth Ring. I don't see anything else going on in this room now for real, so we'll head out of here, and I guess we'll take a look at the room to the left, where hopefully we can find Smoochum. Of course, this is where we found the murals for the, uh, the berries and such, so there might be some extra details here. We'll have to wait and see, but nothing in this corner. And, oh yeah, the ice pile. Uh, huh, did you hear something crying just now? Yeah, I did. It's coming from inside the ice. There might be someone inside. Can you break this ice, Darmanitan? hand? Yep, no problem. So let's go ahead and punch this open, <laughs> boom. And there you are. Aw, oh, it's Smoochum, pucker up. Ooh, it's Armanitan. Thanks for rescuing me. We've been looking for you, Smoochum. I'm so glad we found you. I sure didn't expect to find you inside the ice. 
Huh? Who's that growing out of your head, Dermanitan? This is Pikachu. He's helping me look for everyone. Yeah, nice, me nice to meet you. This is pretty sudden, but do you mind if I ask you some questions? What do you want to ask me? About you, Smoochie. Hey. How do you get inside that ice? I wanted to make myself a house out of shiny, sparkly ice. So I kept making the ice bigger and bigger, but then I couldn't get out. I was so lonely. There, there. You're safe now, so no need to cry. About the other Pokemon. Hey. Is there anyone else here with you? No, nobody. That's why I couldn't get out. Poor hey. thing. Have we found all your friends? Yeah, all the ones I want to help looking for. All the ones you, huh? Now that we know everyone's safe, why don't we head back? Oh, uh, sure. All right, so we gotta go back to Tim. But before we do, I think it'd be a great time to go outside of the ruins if Dormanitan lets us and punch through some of the different blockades that are in the way out there. So we just gotta head over this way and go to the surface ruins. All right, we're out here then. And I definitely know that one thing we can talk to these two, like Munchlax. Oh, Pikachu. You've grown so much bigger in the short time since I last saw you. Take another look, Munchlax. I'm just riding on top of Darmanitan. And you're so round and white. Like a big delicious scoop of ice cream. What if I have a little taste? What? Hey, I'm not food. This fellow really doesn't think about anything other than food, does he? Mm. Seeing something so round and white sure makes me hungry. This fellow really doesn't think about anything other than food, does he? Okay. Mm. Um. Whoa! What's Darmanitan doing here? This isn't a bad guy, okay? Don't attack him or anything. Yeah, I know. I won't just go around attacking people anymore. Mm. What's an ice type Darmanitan doing here in this climate? It's no wonder he's surprised not knowing the situation and all. Okay, so is there anything, can I punch the tree? I can't, so I don't think I really need to interact with the berries too much, but any kind of rock like this that I can punch open, I definitely wanna take the opportunity to do as soon as possible. So yeah, getting this dealt with, and look at you over here. Hi. Soul Rock, Pines for the Sun. Okay. Huh. I miss the sun so much. Oh, a Soul Rock. You don't look too happy. Well, the weather's been awful here for a while now, you know? Because of that, I haven't been able to soak up enough sunlight. I've got no energy now. But it, isn't it better if it's snowing all the time? Soul Rock is powered by solar energy. It's built differently from you and your friends from colder climates. Oh wow, I didn't know there were Pokemon like that. I think the maturity of them are like that. Anyways, there's something else to punch here. Didn't do too much for me though. So there's a Soul Rock down this way. I am trying to keep a note of all the Pokemon that are wherever they are so that we can do that one quiz, Professor Quiz. We need to make sure we do that before this case ends too. But hey, we'll talk to Pissimian. Who are you? I haven't seen your face around these parts before. I just started living here recently. Well, there's plenty of food to go around, so you can live here as long as you like. That's kind of you to say, but I doubt Darmanitan can live in a climate like this. We need to think of a solution. <laughs> Try not to cause too much trouble. All right, well, I don't see anything else going on on this side, so we'll rush off. And I think we'll make our way down south here. There were still more things to punch open, like that one spot with the zigzagoon. And oh, get that. It wasn't anything really to get, but I guess, did we find everybody? There are three of them in total. Please find them for me. Okay, just wait a bit. We haven't found the third one just yet, but we can talk to you two since we got this done. I feel bad for making my friend worry so much. Hey. It's okay, Ursaring. I'm sure your friend's not upset at you. Thanks, I'm still gonna be more careful from now on, though. Hey Pikachu, my friends got back safe. Glad to hear it, Ursaring. I'm about to explain that we've gotta be more careful from now on. Thank you for your help, Pikachu. All right, so find the missing Ursaring completed. That's two out of four so far. Hopefully we can get the other two done soon. Break this open. I'm expecting to see like a Clefa on the other side or something, but I guess we'll go over here and talk to you. Um. Oh, you're the detective's Pikachu. Wait, what? Darmanitan can give Pikachu a ride on its head? I've never seen that before. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I came here today. That, this made it all worth it. Uh, glad to hear it. And what about this one? Oh, there is somebody back here. This is not Cleffa. It's Shuckle. Stretches out to say hello. So cute. 
What are you doing under there? Whoa, what's going on? Huh? A Pokemon came out of the rock. A Shuckle? I guess it was inside that boulder. Wow, you really startled me. If you're gonna wake me up, be gentler about it next time. We're sorry, we had no idea you were here. I'm sorry for breaking a rock. Don't worry about it. Oh, I was just thinking about uh, about time. It, it was about time to get up. More importantly, though, why is it so cold? Did I sleep all the way until winter? No, it's just a bit of bad weather. It'll be okay. Really? Thank goodness. But still, it's way too cold right now. I better make myself some nice, nu nice nutritious juice to perk myself up. All right, I remember. Shulko can make all sorts of different juices inside their shells. Really? Sounds tasty. Oof, it's so cold. I better hurry and make some juice. Hey. Yep, whip up some delicious juice to give yourself a boost of energy. All right, well, that's cool. And we can talk to the low tad again. Low dad. Thanks for your help earlier, low dad. Let us know if there's anything else we could do to help. We're always ha happy to make new friends. Let us all sing together. Oh, that sounds fun. Hey, we don't have time to play right now. Oh, I guess you're right. Come back to play anytime. <laughs> All right, I'll keep that offer in mind. I don't see too much else to do at the moment, but remember, we can still get over to the zigzagoon. So I'm still looking for the one bird that the quiz professor suggested. I have no clue where that is. Uh, but yeah, I can chat with these three. I'll make sure my swaddling dress warmly for the time being. Yeah, that's a good idea when it's this cold. You be careful not to catch a cold yourself either. I will, thank you. Okay, nothing else in this corner, but I can punch this open, and there was nothing on the other side. But hey, how about you? What? Who are you two? Are you the beam of hope that will pierce through the dark sorrow in my heart? Whoa, he's looking at us with desperation in his eyes. You think we should avoid him? Wait, please, wait. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but please lend me your immeasurable power. Could you find it in your heart to break open the boulders and bring any, me any fossils you find? My partner Zigzagzin's toes are frozen stiff from the cold. Look at my paws. Hmm. Oh wow, those are some icy looking toes. And so I need your help, I beg of you. It really does sound desperate. Yep, looks like we've just been made honorary fossil excavators. He's really counting on your punching power. Normally I would break the boulders myself, but I just can't do it right now. Please, won't you help us? It's hard to say no to that. Sure, we'll help you. Which boulder should I break? True, we're not experts, so we can't tell by looking at which ones to have fossils in them. Guess we've just gotta break any boulder that looks like a likely candidate. Got it, I'll be careful not to break the fossils along with the boulders. Thank you, we really, really appreciate it. Oh, so you're willing to help? I've been searching for an armor fossil and a skull fossil. Please find them for me. Excavate the Pokemon fossils slumbering throughout the ruins. The fossil collector can't collect fossils because his partner's paws are numb from the cold. Find some fossils for him. Will do. So yeah, I can just punch through the stuff like that and hopefully we can find some fossils along the way. And there's the final clever. Okay, perfect. So. Oh, you know what? This is the bird Pokemon the quiz master was talking about. It's also silly. Did that help at all? I don't see anything on the ground. But anyways, we'll talk to you. Eep, you scared me. Oh, there's a Cleffa hiding here. Aw, I was sure nobody would find me here. You found a good hiding spot, but not good enough. Besides, you've got plans you're gonna be late for. What? Is it that late already? Thanks for telling me. See ya. So I have to go catch up with the last Cleffa. Hey. I think we found all the Cleffa we asked we were asked to find. Let's head back and see how things are going. Thanks for finding everybody. We found all the Cleffa that were playing hide and seek for you. Yay, we're about to head back, head out on a trip to a hill that's kind of far away. We go there a lot because the view is so pretty on nights with lots of shooting stars. I see, I hope you're able to see some tonight. I'm just happy to see you're so pleased. So, find the hiding Cleffa completed. So we're three out of five so far. Hopefully we can get the rest done. So, now that we broke open those rocks, can we talk to that excavator again? Maybe now? They'll be happy with us? Please, please help with my fossil collection. Sheesh. What an intense stare, yeesh. So, I don't see any over here. 
But maybe with the other rocks I broke? I don't see a fossil here or there. Huh? Some sort of flat rock came out. Came out. What's it? What is this? It looks like, ju just looks like a rock to me. Hmm, I don't know. It shape seems too distinct to be just a rock. I think we should at least show that to the collector guy. Oh, got you. And was there any other rock around here to break? Hey, where are you going? We don't need to go that way right now. So I'm still looking for the other fossil. I hope I didn't already break it and just like can't find it anymore. But I can talk to these two. I gotta eat a ton so I can make loads of electricity. That's a funny looking Pokemon. Yeah, it's Charger Bug. Locky looking fella, isn't it? Then over here we got the Rowlet. I oh know, I know, hold on. I already talked to you, I'm trying to talk to the Charger, or not, uh, the Rowlet. Why won't let me talk to the Rowlet? There we go. It's a Rowlet. Wait a second. Two eyes and a round body. Just like the quiz professor said. She must have been talking about this Pokemon. I've gotta to remember to tell the Tim the answer later. We'll have to go see the quiz professor. Yeah, I sort of totally forgot that Pokemon was there. My bad. So we're looking for one more fossil. I don't see it just yet, but I mean, we got this one. How goes the search? Have you been into discoveries? Dermanitan, show them that flower rock we found. This looks like a rock you could find anywhere. Here. Oh my goodness, that's an armor fossil. If you restore this fossil, it'll become a Pokemon called Shieldon. It is said to have an incredibly durable face that can withstand even the strongest attacks. Apparently it's a fossil from a super tough Pokemon. That's a Pokemon? It really does just look like a rock. You two are good at finding fossils. Please, please help me find the fo my fossil, uh, help me with my fossil collection. Sheesh. One intense stare, yeesh. Okay, so there's still one more to find somewhere and hopefully we can discover it soon and I hope I didn't already break it. Maybe it's this rock behind you because we definitely broke this one before, but it's that. So I'm gonna guess that this is where the fossil is. Yeah, here we go. Hmm? There's something here. Well, it's this pretty rock. Why's it got junk stuck inside it? I've never seen a rock like this before. It might be one of the fossils the collector was talking about. Let's go show him. All right, I'm running back all the way over here then and uh, talking to the professor. I think this might be the last one. Oh, it's you two. Have you discovered anything? Hmm. Well, we did find the stra that strange rock earlier. You mean this pretty stone? Sure, I'll show it to him. Here you go. Is that really old, Amber? This fossil contains the DNA of the dinosaur Pokemon Aerodactyl. It's a fearsome, ferocious Pokemon that ruled the skies in prehistoric times. However, this is not what I've been searching for. Huh, guess we didn't hit the jackpot. But he looks so happy. Humans are sure sure are complicated. I'm sorry, after you went out of your way to find that and bring it to us. Please, please help me with my fossil collection. Jeez. All right, so we're still looking for more of them. So I will still rush through and try to find any other stones as we make our way back towards the ruins. So there's another one here by uh, a solar Pokemon. And what do you know? Whoa, some kind of round rock came tumbling out. What is this? Let's play kickball with it. No, wait, don't kick it away. It looks different from the other rocks. It's a bit of a walk, but let's go show this to that collector. All right, so we'll do that, but I'll also poke around to see if there's any more rocks like that nearby. There might be one down here. I was pretty sure there was, but maybe there wasn't. Okay, there's none. So we'll just go to the collector. And I guess we never talked to the Eldegoss either. Weather like this really takes a toll on me. Wow, this fluffy Pokemon looks so soft. That's because Eldegoss is covered in cotton. That cotton sure looks warm. I guess it does. So yeah, let's go back to the professor or whatever they're, they're, they're I guess they, they're an archeologist, right? But not really the same kind. They're a fossil collector at the least. So we go down here, talk to you one more time. Well now, I've been waiting for you. Any discoveries? Hey. Darmanitan, do you have that round, round rock we found? I'm gonna give, him th give this to him? Okay, here. Well, as I live and breathe, this is a rare and valuable skull fossil. If you restore this fossil, it'll become a Kranatos. It's said to be tremendously powerful, able to pulverize anything with just a headbutt. Sounds like it could give you a run for your money in terms of power, Darmanitan. It must have been a really amazing Pokemon. This fossil is in remarkably good condition too. It sounds like you found something really wonderful for us. Thank you so much. Now I've got both a skull fossil and an armor fossil. Marvelous, what a tremendous haul. I can present these findings at the next academic conference. 
This will do wonders to further the progress of all the research into fossil Pokemon. Don't worry, I'll be sure to properly credit you for your contributions. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. I'm so glad I didn't end up making my partner sad. Well, I'm glad we could help. They both seem really happy. Does that mean we did something good? We sure did. And it's all thanks to you, Darman Dan. So, completed another local concern. Excavate the Pokemon fossils slumbering throughout the room. So now we just have to complete the Quiz Master's or Quiz Professor's quiz. Cool, so we'll do that soon enough, but we have to get back to Tim for that. It was so much fun riding around the ruins with Darmanitan. It's really cool how Tim and Detective Pikachu were able to make friends wherever they go. And hopefully we can make some new friends in the next episode of Detective Pikachu Returns. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.